The AVHX 2600 BT has built-in Bluetooth for both hands-free calling and wireless streaming audio. Let's take a moment and look at the settings menu for Bluetooth. We'll touch the telephone here, and we have a number of things that pop up in the screen. The first thing we see here is the voice control button, and if you have a compatible iPhone connected, you'll be able to use Siri eyes free. Next up, we see our Bluetooth connection information and battery information about the phone. This can bring up a dial pad, our incoming and outgoing calls, our uh, phone book, and lastly is our favorites menu. Down here, we have auto answer where, that we can turn on or off, and we have our ringtone we can turn on or off. Let's touch the gear here to get into the settings menu. Here, the connection menu is where we can go to connect different devices to the in-dash radio. We'll go back. Next up is auto connect. That means when we uh, come back to the car and start the car, it will automatically find phones that have been connected before and reconnect those phones. Visibility for this Bluetooth device, the in-dash radio, is on right now. Both of those things can be turned off if you want to turn them on or off. You'd probably want to keep these things on in order to get an auto reconnect in the car, and you'll need that visibility code. Uh, next up is the, uh, the pin code, which is four zeros. Most modern phones won't require a pin code, but if you have an older phone that requires a pin code, you can use these four zeros here. If you want, you can change that pin code to something else. Lastly, we have our device information. This again about the in-dash radio. This is an AVHX 2600 BT, so if you search from your phone, that's the name you're looking for to connect to this radio, and this is the Bluetooth address here at the bottom. When you're done making your changes to the Bluetooth settings, you can hit the X to escape.